start and recording. Uh, right, I need things. Once again, a particularly professional start to the recording. Yes, as always. And we're off. Oh, I need things. I mm. need things. And um, we started. Shit, hang on. <laughs> Was not prepared at <laughs> all. When I ever prepared. Uh, disclaimer, that's what I say. So yeah, anyway, formal introduction. Hello everyone, welcome to the non refundable podcast uh, here on 177 Entertainment. I am, as always, Neff, and he is, as always, Jay, Hi. aka Samurai Gopher. And this is, once again, uh, also a non-refundable podcast, because, yeah, what we talk about is name shit. Although, mm. based on stuff that's happened, this one might actually have things to yeah. actually talk about. But first of all, we have to cover ourselves in this new world that we're in of being sued by everything and everything. Uh, that's right, everything. I said that twice. Uh, right, so we here at 177 Entertainment, we'd just like to remind you that this is an entirely non-refundable podcast and what you're about to listen to will probably not contribute to your life in any way. There's a high chance that what you're about to hear is totally inaccurate and the views expressed within are solely of those of the party involved and do not which, and do not represent 177 Entertainment's views on politics, celebra- celebrities, news, facts or opinions in the world in general. We'd also like to remind you this is a, a, a satirical podcast, or at least aims to be, uh, with mild sarcasm and the a- occasional joke. I can't read today. Uh, those of a serious disposition or lack of understanding when it comes to the attempts at comedy may want to turn off now. Also, please listen responsibly. Right, covered. But, you know what I miss? Codcasts. Codcasts, yes. I miss it being a codcast. Yeah, we here at 177 have retired Codcasts in replacement for podcasts. They they tested better in... Oh, uh, did they? Okay. Yeah, they tested better in... Um, Marketing focus, said... Focus groups, yeah. yeah. for podcasts. Yeah, we, we had a sample group. Um, Codcast was confusing. Uh, people would think it's some form of phishing activity. And were annoyed that we were not talking about no, phishing at all. No, not, not necessarily talking. I think Codcasting is in people... You, it's just a man on a, on a boat casting for Cod. See, to my mind, it sounds like a man on a boat casting cod, like just throwing oh, yeah. cod yeah, at people. <laughs> he's trying to cut his cod. Well, in the in the uh, immortal words of uh, Qui Gon Jinn, "There's always a bigger fish." There is always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. Right? Do you have any things that you wish to make noise about your face? Oh, we don't normally. No, no. But I, f- I find I find the interest. <laughs> Actually, no, I kind of don't. But no. something will probably come to me because what happens is I say I don't. And, and then we the, chat for a bit, and they go, oh, by the oh, way, this. Oh, shit, I had a thing. Yeah, so, currently, no. Currently, no. Okay. Well, obviously, there's... Oh, no, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was quicker than usual, That was it? quicker than usual. This I, is a I, very minor thing. It was so quick, I thought that was a joke. Yeah, no, this is genuine. Ah. It's a very minor, genuine thing, so I'm very just going to get genuine. out of the way now. Uh, there a, are a, rumors, a menuine. Is it a menuine? A menuine. Uh, no. Or, or min, min, genua. 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 Uh, anyway, it's a very tiny thing. Um... That's what she said, no way. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, because I was just going uh, <laughs> yeah, to slip just, in. Yeah, as well, always. You said. Um, well, well, I mean, there it's, is it's a rumour. It's not a fight anymore, We're in rumour territory here. Rumor, rumor allegedly. Mill, allegedly, allegedly. 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 According to the interwebs. Oh, well, we all we know, know it's true, then. It's definitely true. Yeah. Uh, there is a Spaceballs 2. I don't want it. <laughs> Good reaction. I don't want it. No, I think that's. I'm not. If I'm honest, I'm not 100 percent fan of the original one. Okay. Like I, I, it has its time, and its time was in the 70s when that kind of comedy was funny. Now, (sighs) yes, I know you're old. That's the sound of me and Niff stopping being friends. (laughs) No, I, I like it, but they. It, a a, a Space Force Two cannot work now. Is more is probably a better way of saying. I see what you're saying. Like. The the so, era of Spaceballs and Airplane and Hot Shots yeah, of yeah. stupid slapstick comedy in that the, fashion. The modern equivalent yeah. is the scary movies, yes. which are terrible. Yes, because exactly. Because they have none of the wit you or can't, charm. Of as I say, I, I showed Amy Airplane the other day. Fucking hated it. Really? She fucking hated What's it. She's like, this is her? shit. It's because it... it, it She's she's younger than me for a start. She's only twenty two, I think. Matter, it's but no, she was. She didn't grow up watching shitty eighties and seventies comedy like well, I did. She's like I grew up watching Hot Shots and watching shit like that. Um, she hasn't seen Airplane, so, so to her, it's just really cheesy, shitty jokes. Like there's a man. That is what it is. That's yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. But I it doesn't understand. doesn't have that luster. Like if you grow up, if you grew up watching, like I grew mm. up watching. My dad showed me Airplane when I was really young. Uh, like things like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where the jokes in it are just sort Ferris of like Bueller's Day Off is brilliant. They, yeah, but they're, something they're all, wrong with all of you. They're all underarm pictures. They're all really easy jokes to hit out of the park. So anyway, 
Spaceball 2 might be a thing. It may or may not be good, depending on <laughs> when you grew up, it's, apparently. Well, no, I mean, I'll still go and watch it. But, to be fair, I actually am worried that it will be crap. Yeah, just because it's the been problem. So long. The problem I have is it, it's a two, and it's a two that's thirty years after the one. Yeah, and yeah. that is basically that's not just a good recipe. Generally speaking, it's just also there'll be no Rick Moranis because he's officially retired from. Yeah, well, he yeah his wife died and he went and looked after his kids. Yeah, like a proper hero. Yeah, like like uh, a like a dad. Yeah, exactly. He went and dadded to yeah. so like a, an amazing degree. So oh, I can't go around and be a Hollywood A list anymore because my wife has died and, and I have my kids need me. I yeah. have kids to look after, so I'm going to go and be a dad. See you later, yeah. world. What a good man! What a good human being! Um, but yeah, so he won't be in it. So so and this is just what's the all this point? is is cash cow. Jumping in on the fact there's new Star Wars films. They literally did say since Force Awakens come out, there is a chance there'll be a space force. Basically, they've got new material to riff on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that kind of comedy now has just become like SNL. But has it become? It's, it's just it's got its place on S- on stuff like SNL. As I say, is it like rubbish because shows. Mel Brooks isn't doing it? Because Mel Brooks is a genius. Yeah. So maybe it's just because other people have done it. They've done it badly and he'll do it well to me that those kind of easy jokes don't work in films anymore because there's Mm, so many buddy comedies and uh just sketch shows yeah that have taken because in i mean the 70s there was stuff like here there's stuff like two runnies Mm. and uh, probably a lot more but yeah um morkham and wise and stuff like that um and to an extent um tommy cooper but obviously a one-man style with peripheries um but now you've got things like that Mitchell and Webb look. You've got um, oh, fuck, like I've you got... said, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Saturday Night Live. They do is. they do sketches uh, near Conan enough every day. Probably do stuff like that. I yeah, think. Jimmy Fallon does things yeah. in that vein. Yeah. Um, a lot of them have migrated to more. There's MTV not TV the... rips off films now on the awards. Yeah, there's not there's not too many British. I mean, I don't watch TV admittedly a lot anymore. All of my stuff is on demand. But there's not too many British. I mean, Key and Peele. That sort of stuff as well. Mm-hmm. They're all. That's where your easy comedy is now. Not not as bad comedy. It's just easy comedy. It's just More like slapstick comedy. Yeah, than cerebral yeah. Comedy. I mean, to say it like to airplane. I I was laughing my ass off. Yeah. Because the autopilot is an inflatable man who flies a plane. Yes. Amy hated that. I'm like, it's it's an autopilot. It's it's, an autopilot. It's, what? You press the button and, and a man comes out. That's because genius. Com- because computers weren't really a thing and people didn't know what computers were. So it's funny. And you for needed p- to visualize it. Yeah. You can't visualize a computer flying the plane because that's boring. Yeah, that's, that's real life. That's not funny. And then there's a man at, like directing traffic on the floor and because, he's yeah. he's doing the paddle things and to then a man fair, goes, where's this where's the this place? And he goes, oh, it's over there. And the plane crashes through the airport. Yeah. It's stupid comedy, but yeah. it's funny. I think, to be fair, in Airplane, a lot of the jokes are probably quite dated. I, I just want you to know, we're really counting on you. And they do that three times. <laughs> I know. It's, that's the, that's the, it's just like, um, my, my favourite of shit comedy. Is, it, it just has to be Hot Shots. I love Hot Shots 1 and 2. Yeah. They are my favourite Hot Shots 1 70s oh. slash 80s comedy. I think I early just, 90s. Hot Shots, so, two, uh, Hot early, Shots 1, I think, was like early 80s. Say, late 80s, 80, I would was say. It? Yeah, I don't know. Early we can probably probably date time. this based on uh, Emilio Estevez, but yes, he had a career early nineties. Well, no, it's uh, Charlie Sheen, but his real name is Emilio Estevez. What? Or is it Emmanuel Estevez? No, he's no, he's, no. he's an Emilio Estevez. Estevez is another person. No, the, the, he is um, Charlie Sheen is an Estevez. His actual name. Yeah, is yeah, Estevez. he is an Estevez. Yeah, but, but he's can't... not Emilio because Emilio is the skinny blonde one. Yeah, I'm, from I always get confused and between Men at Work and he's not loads anymore. of other stuff. Yeah, he, t- he turned up in a two and a half men going, oh, he's, he? yeah, oh, he's your friend. And I was like, yeah, that's your brother. Yeah, lols. Like, yeah. Um, but no, I, I just I love Hot Shots. Hot it's, Shots is very good. Yeah. It's, cause it's got, obviously, it's got the same guy in it. The air traffic controller from Airplane is the yeah. president in Hot Shots. Yes. And he's yeah. fantastic. So, like, Metal, metal Skull, Golden Nam. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Intestines, porcelain. <laughs> yeah, it was it. Um, Skin made a Kevlar. Got to burn <laughs> off it. <laughs> got to burn off in the Crimean War. <laughs> it's just like, he's fantastic. It's so stupid. Or was, I feel that he's. I think. Has he he pro- died? He's probably. Everyone, uh, on, the, on the subject of dying, obviously, a new one has died today. Yes, yeah. Sir Roger Moore. Sir Roger Moore. Yes. The the debonairist of debonair bonds. Not uh, controversial to say it today. Yeah. We should say that today is Tuesday the 20-something of... 23rd. 30, that one, of uh, May. May. And obviously, 17. it's been very busy in the... Uh, I'm loath to make a joke, but it's been a very busy queue in regards to deaths. It's... In the last 24 the hours. The shit has kicked off. 
we'll get on to we'll, we'll get on to the shit kicking after. I'm going to yeah. try and keep it light with the comedy talk first. Sure. So um, Roger Moore, sad. Not my favourite Bond, I'm afraid. I know. No, I know today I should I'm, say he is because that's the thing, right? Connery. It's, 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 Connery's um, the best Bond. Yeah, yeah, Connery's yeah. The best Bond. But like today, I'm not a Bond fan either for a start. I'm really. Today is the day that everyone goes. He was the best Bond. I loved mm-hmm. all of the Bond films he was in. He was probably one of the suavest. He Bonds. was the second. It, to be honest, he's my second favorite Bond. Connery <laughs> wins it. Yeah. Roger Moore's next. And then I actually quite like um, new guy whose name I forget right now. Uh, Craig. The him. Yeah. Daniel Craig. David Craig. David. No. Dan, no. Dan, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Is it Daniel Craig? Sure. Let's go That's with it, that. We'll go with that. Craig one. Daniel. I don't what? know. Craig Daniel. Craig, Craig David. Craig no, David. It wasn't Craig David. Shimon. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever it was, some yeah. guy, he's quite good. Uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, Pier- yeah, again, Pierce Brosnan. Agent, the first Pierce Brosnan Agent, Bond. agent of the time. Yeah, uh, the nine- first Pierce Bronz- Brosnan one Pierce was quite Brosnan good. Brosnan. But I didn't like anything else that he did. Um, I'm not. I'm going to say that I'm not a big Bond fan. I've never seen the appeal That's of it. fine. I've seen them all, but mostly because... It's almost like a national right passage. Was, excuse me, when I was younger, they were on TV a lot. Yeah. So. Well, one's always on over Christmas. Well, yeah, exactly. That but Connery greatest. was my favourite. Roger Moore second. That's because it's Sean Connery. Yeah, exactly. He's the but best. With Scot- but with Scottish Russian, Scottish, Scottish, British, Scottish, Spanish, yes. Scottish. God love Red Hunt for Red October. Yeah. Who, who should we cast as the Russian um, pilot of a submarine? Sean Connery, the man with the th- thickest British slash Scottish accent. Who will not let it go? No. I'm sure he probably can do other accents, yeah. but he just refuses. Like, no, right. I'm Sean Connery. I- I'm on a. Uh, I'm desperately be trying to find some refrain that without res- resorting to downloading it to watch U five seven one. Fucking love that film. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Big submarine fan. Oh yeah, it's a good film. Yeah. It's, um, I, uh, that, which one's that? I forget. Uh, no, sorry, not U five seven one. It's K seventeen Windermaker is the one. Oh one. right, yeah, yeah. The with the nuclear th- nuclear nuclear n- submarine. Th- yeah, where people die of radiation poisoning. Yeah, uh, but not Harrison Ford because he's because cool. th- he's Harrison Ford. Yeah. Uh, do. In you have every... the time to him listen to me one. Yeah, do you yeah. have the time? Uh, in every no, I'm a very submarine busy man. film, you, yeah. I've I've not seen a lot of submarine films. I've not seen a lot. I've seen um, some. I've seen that gold, that Nazi gold one. That's always good. play pull a crazy Ivan. Um, because I know they do. There's always the there's October. always someone who goes claustrophobic mad. There's yes, always, there's, yeah, there's someone yeah. who goes sea yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, some one thing goes wrong and he goes mad and then he gets locked in the brig and then he breaks. Something trying to get out, and that leads yeah. to a catastrophe. Yes. Yeah, catastrophes There's, occur. Generally, there is one. something will definitely flood because you're underwater, so it has to. Right? It's, it's one or two. Well, no, the flooding always happens. Yeah. Generally, that is precluded by fire. Yes. Yeah. So, or if it's really unlucky, you get flood. You get fire then fl- uh, flood then fire. Yeah. But not in the same place. No, that'd be weird if it's yeah. in the same place. But yeah, I mean, K seventeen is kind of a different one because it's a nuclear sub. Nuclear. I can't think of. It's been a while since I watched the film. Is Red um, October not nuclear? Isn't no, Red October is a different one. It's about handing over the Russian sub to. Yeah, I thought it was a Russian nuclear sub that he was stealing. Uh, the US was stealing. He was handing it over to the US. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tons um, of spoilers, by the way, if any of you haven't seen this film. <laughs> Tons of spoilers for these late nineties, early twenty, early two yeah. thousand films. <laughs> well, you never know. You yeah. never know with people. Yeah. Um, fuck, I'm gonna have to put spoilers things. in the title again, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Or I would just put that on every single episode. I've got the title for this podcast though, now, though. Hunt for K-17U571, The Widowmaker. Yeah, in October. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hunt for Red U571 in October through something or other. Yeah, yeah. that's too Starring long. Sean Connery. It's, it's too, too long a title now. Because um, obviously he's Spanish in Highlander. Yes. So he's not, <laughs> is he? He's, he's Scottish. Let's be honest, he's Scottish. He's Sean Connery. And the, and the one that is Scottish is... Uh, oh god, where's he from? Where's Christopher Lambert from originally? I don't know. That. Yeah, I don't he's, know. I think people. he's Danish or something like that. Like the Scotsman is played by a Dane, the Spanishman is played by a Scot. Very confusing. It all just reminds me of um, the. No one knows where the Kurgan's meant to be from. He's from Growland. <laughs> there's um, there's one you know, um, Mock the Week. They yes. do scenes you'd like to see. Yes. There's one that's like scenes you'd like to see in a war film. And it, um, Hugh just walks up and goes, "Why are we talking English?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it's, fair. It's yeah. great. It's, it just it just sums up all films. So yeah, like, yeah. Um, uh, here's the Nazis. Uh, they speak uh, English. Yep. Uh, here's the Americans. They speak American because yeah. that is a different language. Yes. Not even not dialect language. Language. Yeah. yeah. Respect right. the goddamn letter U. Yeah. Here's the French speaking English, <coughs> uh, but with a French accent. The French yep. you always put the accent on. The Germans you don't. The French nope. you always have an accent. Yeah. 
Uh, generally because it's easy to find French actors. <laughs> yeah, and the Germans are allowed to have an English accent because they're the bad guys. So two two films. exclusions for this. Um, the dude from whose name I forget from um, uh, Inglorious Bastards, that really cool German SS guy, who's awesome. Oh, an awesome actor. I can't think of his name. God. And uh, yeah. Mad and Mads Mikkelsen. Yes, love Mads Mikkelsen. He's my new one of my new favorite actors. Yeah, he he's an amazing villain. He is. And he's an amazing Hannibal as well. He was he was I was chatting to Bass uh, a little while ago about him. Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he plays the villain in Spectre just to keep it on yes. the Bond theme. Yes, he does. Yeah. Um, and Bass posited the idea that actually Spectre is not wasn't scripted or anything. They just, just went to Mads, Mads Mikkelsen's Mikkelsen. house yeah. and just hung out with him for a bit. Oh, and yeah. That's just, and Mads, that's just what happened. Mads gives off a proper... And he was also obviously in... Um, not playing a baddie, for once. Um, in Rogue One. Yeah, but... He was a he Rogue One's was daddy. A, kind of was it. No, he was a good baddie. He, <laughs> he was, was a good, 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 good guy, bad guy. Yeah. But underneath he was bad, right? We all know it. You can't help but be when you're Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, I mean... There's, there's... I've seen a picture of him in a kitten jumper. <laughs> he still looks terrifying. That's because it's Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> yeah, it's like I still wouldn't say anything bad he, to him. He plays such a chilling Hannibal, if you haven't seen it. If anyone hasn't seen it, who the, all the maybe three people who listen to this yeah. in the world. Hey, Florida. Um, no, I've actually... Uh, one of my videos was very popular in... Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Some... Yeah, I said one we had my... Brazil last time, I think. Yeah, no, I've, uh, yeah. I've still got the one from Brazil. Uh, yeah. Holland. Watched a little bit of my Forza oh, video. Cool. Um, but I think it was Massachusetts and one from Michigan. I might have that wrong. Though. Hey guys, in Massachusetts and or Michigan. Uh, Michigan only watched ten seconds of that video. So oh, you can well, go screw fuck you, himself. Michigan. But the dude, in Mass- again, if I think it's Massachusetts, watched almost the entire video. So thank wow. you very much. Yeah. Well done. Of me. <laughs> I'm impressed. Talking inanely at a Forza video. I can't even watch them. <laughs> um, but. I've lost my train of thought now. Mads uh, Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen, Bond. Yeah. yeah, for anyone who's listening to it, uh, do go Hannibal. watch Hannibal. I have, still haven't watched Hannibal season two. Uh, it's on my watch list, but season one is fantastic. I can't watch it. Why? Because I've got a real thing for cannibalism. Hmm? It really, oh, right. Yeah, like, there are a few things that I just can't stomach. There's no, yeah. There is no non-pun way to describe this, to be honest. Yeah, pun intended. Um, and can and like people eating bits of other people is one of them. It you never really see. You never see him chowing down on a foot. Doesn't matter. Though. Does not matter. It's just the fact you see him like just lining up frog wire that you know yeah, is made of liver. Just human the, liver. <laughs> the suggestion that it's happening is enough. Yeah. It really turns me. That and octopuses. Someday somebody's going to make a horror film about cannibal octopuses. <laughs> a cannibal who turns eating into an octopus. humans, and yeah. I'm going to freak and kill myself. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's so really, true. really good TV series. TV series. I yes, don't, I don't, I, I'm aware that it's I'm incredibly good. Pr- pretty sure it hasn't gone past season two. I don't think it got I'll renewed again because it wasn't particular. It. Season one was very, very good. Season two, uh, I think, was a bit hard to follow. Mm. Uh, I've only watched one episode of it, and that was a long time ago, so I can't remember. I remember it being very dark. Well, you would imagine. Yeah, well, it's, it's in, not I think the it's lightest in, subject. I think it's in Paris or something yeah. like that. But it just seemed like really dark. Like the, the other one wasn't. It was really. Vivid. Oh, sorry, you mean dark. Dark is literally light levels. Right, yeah. I thought you meant dark as in subject matter. I was like, oh, oh no, yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's not, not a comedy, not contextually dark, <laughs> situationally dark. I thought Hannibal was a rom com. What's going on? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah. And speak, uh, oh no, it's never mind. That was a, that's gone. That's gone already. That, that Good was, work. That was quicker than normal. <laughs> well. Um, I really we'll want to go watch Hot it. Shots now. My brain's still back. That's all you're on now. Yeah. Just watch Hot Shots. I love it. Got it. I could spot this mole anywhere. <laughs> Hot topper, take my lucky mole. <laughs> Fucking love it. It is brilliant, but let's and not just quote the whole of Hot Shots. <laughs> it's got uh, all of the people from uh, Two and a Half Men in it as well, which is really good. Yes, yeah. It's got obviously Charlie Sheen, uh, the dude who plays Alan, whose name no one ever remembers. Who looks, Alan? Yeah, who looks like um, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> yes, but he's, he's like cheap Matthew Broderick. Although, didn't he play? He played. Ducky in uh, Pretty in Pink. Yes, he did. Yeah, um, and he, he plays Walleye in Top yes, in, yes, uh, he does. Yeah. in Hot Shots. <laughs> uh, and uh, you've got um, Ryan, Ryan Styles. Ryan Styles. That's it. My, yeah. One of my favourite comedians. Yeah. Him on Whose Line Is It Anyway with Colin Mockery uh, is the yes. best thing in the world. Yeah, those two. They are Whose Line Is It Anyway. The yeah. other people are funny. Great. Wonderful. Like, Glad you're here. I really like the American. I'm start- I'm back on the American ones again. The now. American ones. I hate to say this. It pains me. The American ones are better than the British ones. 
I they they are different. The British whose line is anyway is Brit is very star Brit because it's dumb. it's very it's it different. It's completely stayed, different. Very, to, yeah, it's very very subdued in comparison. It's very British. It's just yeah, like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's reserved. British. It's like, like this the, is funny, but a little bit more toned down. The scenes tend to be a bit more sort of nuance to yeah. them, almost like they go. You're in America. It's like you are a Superman, and you have your super friends coming around for dinner. Yeah. Whereas it's like you're an, you're a writer, and it's like working on your best selling horror novel. Yeah. Is yeah, it's much more specific. Um, but I think the American ones. One of my favorite things in the American ones is watching Colin Mockery and Ryan Styles try and trip each other up. Yes. Is um, so. And when one when of they, them loses it. And when when they mention they they've got those little ticks they have on yes, each other. Yeah. Like if um right, it, it's always who says it first, and they go. Yeah. Because there's a lot of them goes, you going to start? Yeah, like, yeah. We're starting this? Yeah. Uh, I'm calling him like Big Bird. It's, and, it's um, very good. Yeah. The t- those two, they've got their own game going on inside well, of Who's got, Lines anyway. Yeah, they've got um, one of my favourite ones of their, like just them two, um, is the noir ones. Because yeah. they go very, very strange. Yes. I always loved the uh, Greatest Hits ones. Yes. With them as the, the producer. The Colin... The, Colin's segues from, oh, from the so shows good. they've come from are the so best good. in the world. Yeah, um, we'll take. Was it? We'll, um, we'll be right back with this uh, documentary between human and animal loving. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> right after the. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, and I also love the way he introduces the bands. He, I'm not going to do the whole thing because the whole skit's about three minutes long. Yeah. He does want to introduce the Red Hot Chili Peppers as one of the bands. Oh, yeah. The, and the way Bed he, Cot Philly Paper. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Bed Cot so, Philly Paper. Wait, Bed Cot Philly Paper? Red, Red Hot, Hot Chili, Chili Peppers. Peppers. <laughs> and in that one, actually, as he says that, you see Ryan <laughs> losing shit. He just puts his hand in his yeah. eyes and goes, What? <laughs> and then, thanks. Go, the, so, bed, he goes, Bed Cot <laughs> Philly Paper. Red Hot Chili Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I think it goes over to Wayne Brady. Yeah. I think who sings. Yeah, he does. Wayne, Wayne Brady, Brady does is all... very talented. He is. Uh, I do like the. They've obviously just brought back the American ones, and it's got um, uh, Misha Tyler. She is quite funny as well. She's. Um, mm, who's that? She's know. in. She was in Friends as well. She was okay. uh, one of Ross's wives at the end of. Like when they were okay. on. You know, the bit where they're away in holiday. Uh, like in Hawaii or something. Yes, vaguely. Uh, yeah. yeah, she was his girlfriend around that time. Right, okay. I think no, was she Joey's girlfriend? I forget which. Somebody's probably, girlfriend. Probably, yeah, she was. Some, she was in that. She was a girlfriend. And then she pops up in various other stuff. She's actually quite funny. I think yeah. she was. I think she was had like a bit in Bridesmaids, maybe. Sure. Not as one of the main yeah. ones, but she was in it. I haven't seen it, so. Um, they're quite funny, but it's very much like. And now, welcome this person from this leading TV show, also owned by the same network. <laughs> He's going to do something, or she's going to do something. And then they come back, so it's a little bit more um, adverty, yeah, I guess, sure, sort of. Sure. Um, Pimping the out the other stuff. Yeah, it's just like sort of and more advertisement in yeah. it than the old ones have. But, oh, Drew Carey's films were fantastic as well. Yes. Have yeah. you seen the one? Who hosts? Is it still Drew Carey hosting it? Or? No, that's what I mean. Misha Tyler. Is oh, sorry, now. she's the host. Yeah, of, right. It's okay, still yeah. got. You've still got. Um, it's still got Wayne Brady on it. It's Good. still got um, Colin Mocker on it, and it's still got Ryan Styles on yeah, it. Yeah, well. they'll be there till they die. Yeah, they've, they've got a really good one now where they have to um, do something. They get two random handbags right. from women in the in the uh, in the audience and have yeah. to act out a scene. And they had a Involving really good. What's in the handbags? Yeah. they had a really good one with Wayne Brady where he gets hit by a car. <laughs> right. And. Um, <laughs> They, like they get earphones out and goes, I'm just gonna check his heartbeat, and they put earphones in and just hold it, hold like the three and a half mil jack on him like that, and uh, like got drinks towards like quick drink this, and it's just like you can see Wayne's really not enjoying it. But there's one where a where um, Ryan opens up a little a baggie and he goes, I'm just gonna attract. I was doing something with birds or something yeah. like spreading around, and, and that one was medication, but it was just in this weird bag. It's like it's like what's medication in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> But it's really fun. It's really good. Um, oh, I might have to catch that. It's it, you can find it like you know the whole trying to get around YouTube's content yeah. ID thing. You can find it like sp- um, you know like tone shifted in a very small window surrounded by snow. <laughs> like, you, Brilliant. The way that they get around the content ID block. <laughs> Excellent. Just the way I want to watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Um, but I, I just love going back and watching best of the Drew Carey ones. Yeah, yeah. That's who's fair. The, who's the woman that? Ryan always used to impersonate. I can't remember her name. I want to say Moira Stewart, but I don't think it it's is. It's not Moira Stewart. No. 
She was a, a British newsreader. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I know who Moisture is. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I, I said that. I can't think. You know, he talks. Uh, you know, you know the the voice he does. I can't. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean, but I can't think what her name is. It's just it's got that fantastic scene where it's that person gets her head stuck on things. Yeah. And he flies towards Drew Carey. You know, he's got the little neon tube. Yeah. He smashes it with his head. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And he's just like, please don't make me hurt and move my head again. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but it's it's really good. It's really good. Uh, who's uh, lying you wonderful bastard yes yes indeed I with some friends many many years ago when I was much more into my amateur theatrics mm-hmm. we you've, did you've, a you've couple heard. of yeah we did a couple of evenings of mm. whose lines anyway just ad lib sketches yeah yeah it was, we literally played the game we should well. if, if anyone no one's watched it whose lines anyway is just ad lib sketches is basically yeah. what it is it's just you give four actors a four com- yeah, four comedians. Yeah, the, uh, a situation they act it out. Just go right, do this now. Three Think minutes. Up. Yeah, tops. There you go. Um, the suggestions from the audience a lot of the time. One of my well. favourite ones because uh, uh, me and my mate Luke were very good at it, which is why it's one of my favourites. Mm. Uh, was the one where two people would play out a scene mm-hmm. while two other people have got headphones on and yep. are just watching, so you can't hear anything. You're just watching the actions, mm-hmm. and then you switch, and you have to replay the scene as you interpret it from what's been done obviously what really happens is the first two people do as many outlandish over the top ridiculous maneuvers as they can yep. to totally screw you um <laughs> and me and luke were always the second pair yeah. that had to fit very quickly figure out what this scene was about yeah and improv it with the, that was a lot of fun <laughs> used to love that i remember it, it not so much it wasn't really on the american one as far as i remember but there's a lot in the UK one was uh, sit, stand, lie down. Yes, that's an energetic one. I that's, used to play that a lot. That's I quite like that one because it, it was always Ride Styles, Colin Mockery and Greg Proops. Yes. There's always them in the, the British ones and it was very, very funny. Yeah. And uh, the, the one where they've got to animate it like it's a TV show. Uh, a sports sports show as well. Oh, uh, like games, yes. I used to love that one. When they... like. Um, it's uh, like you an action two replay. people commentating and two yeah. people acting There's out the one a that mundane I, household thing. Yeah, the one that I remember off the top of my head, I can't find it anywhere, but I remember it like it, it's just ingrained in my memory. Yeah. It was so good. It was um, w- uh, getting ready for work in the morning. And it was I think Ryan I know the and Colin. exact Con- one that you're talking about. Because they're like actually. shaving in the mirror, shaving. and then you just got Ryan like grabs him by yes, the nose yeah, and throw yeah, him away. Yeah. It's like, let's see that again in slow motion. They go back. So, yeah. Yeah. So it just reminds me of the Ace Ventura one as well. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, no, that was a really good one. I, in, I always loved scenes from a hat because it was That's just good. so sharp and quick. Yeah. Um, and World's Worst was always, the we world's always worst used step. to. At the yeah. end of, I used to go to an amateur athletics evening. Yeah. Um, at the end of the evening, we would always play World's Worst. That was huge amounts. Of the hoedowns were funny, but the hoedowns are funnier if you watch the outtakes because Ryan yes. gets very annoyed at them. Yeah, <laughs> I I never took part in any of the musical ones because I can't sing. No, um, so I didn't. But other people did, and, and were very good at it. Well done, them. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite of the hoedown ones was uh, it's on the American one. It's where Conor Rock is there singing. About, I think it's about bugs or something like that. Could or... be. And uh, uh, Colin's like, uh, a mosquito came up and it bit me and it sucked all my blood and then I, and he just passes out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's just this. I remember it. one where he, again, I think it's Colin Mockery and he literally just goes, something, 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 <laughs> something, and then just rhymes the last word. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly had nothing. No. There's, there's one, like in the out one of the best things to do is just go onto YouTube and search or whose line is it anyway outtakes yeah because it's always from like the American old ones and Ryan Stars on the outtakes is so good <laughs> like he has one where they're like they're waiting to set up the new song the new scene and he's like yeah. I need a pee he's just saying <laughs> and he gets a scene where he's a waiter at a restaurant and he goes and he goes waiter ah your waiter is in the toilet I should go get him and he just walks off set and goes for a pee <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so and he's um uh, I think it's Dan Patterson also did the American one. So yeah. like the BBC producer went over yeah, to yeah. America and did it there. Um, and <laughs> Ryan's always got his thing where he's like, like sort of flipping off behind his back. He's just like, <laughs> just, just wait. That like, is, he's walking around the set, he's just waving his fing- middle finger up at him. As he looks back, he's just like scratching behind his head. Yeah. <laughs> and there's one where he's like lining up a, like a rifle and he's like, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, nothing, nothing. And then goes back to him it again. It's, just, it's so good. So good. I anyway, enough about audio yes. descriptive. Who's landing it anyway? Yeah, let's not it. just re- rehash the whole thing. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we should probably talk about the awful thing that happened in Manchester. Oh, about yeah, what were we now? About twenty four hours ago. We don't have to talk about it. Uh, we probably should. Okay. I, I mean, we can't can't not. Um, so uh, for people who don't know, a bomb went off in the foyer of the Manchester Evening News Arena yep. at an Aria Arianda Big concert because her name's Grande. It's for big. Got it. Yep. Uh, yeah. Choke. Yay! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know who that is, I didn't it's, get the joke. <laughs> it's a very small girl who suffers from alopecia. Got you. I believe, anyway. Allegedly. Sure. Um, yeah, so there were uh, apparently 22 people killed and 50-odd people injured yeah. uh, from what look, appears to be a nail bomb. Mm-hmm. Um, they've named the guy as Sadiq something or other. I forget his surname right now. Um, who is an English-born? Yeah. Um, Very important. I'm not going to say the word Muslim because his religion is completely irrelevant. Uh, he's yeah, an English-born this... English man, man yeah. born in Manchester, um, from a of Lib- uh, Libyan. That's the word I'm looking for. Libyan descent. I really try not to make a Back to the Future joke right there. Yeah, don't. <laughs> in, yeah. Inappropriate. The important thing is. It sucks dicks. Yeah, like he's a monster. Was a, yeah, was a monster. Yeah, was a monster. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. As you rightly said, religion... This is irrelevant. ...does not come into this at no. all. Um, I must say, there has been the outpouring of hate on the interwebs that you would expect. That, that brings me to this one. So, I, I was um, flicking around YouTube, as I do, and obviously that it's full of BBC news. Yeah. Um, Theresa May came out and gave a not particularly pa- compassionate... Speech. Well, I mean, um, it's but then for I'd, a lizard queen to fake. Compassion. Yeah, I don't know if aliens can understand the human side Probably of emotions, not, but no. um, <laughs> to me, I almost saw a grin in there at some point. I'm like, I had to go back and look at it. I'm like, yeah, mm. Mm. no, maybe. Also, not. the the inner conspiracy theory in me is saying, mm, 24 hours after a massive political like undermining, mm-hmm. and a bomb goes off, and you try and present a strong UK nation. Mm. Yeah, mm. but that's just the inner conspiracy to me. Yeah. Uh, because Illuminati. Yeah, clearly. Uh, but as I'd always do is uh, on any form of political videos is go and look at the comments because the comments are far better than Generally speaking, any yeah. of the um, uh, contents in the video, yeah. usually. So, as you'd expect, uh, for top comment, well, the most recent comment from when I went and looked at it mm-hmm. was, uh, I didn't get his name, is uh, do something about it, uh, all talk, no action. Uh, which has 119 replies. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't read all of them. No. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, someone called Caesar Mechanic said, bring the perp- perpetrator to America, let him in for free, and the Democrats will love him. I assume that's some form of American Republican Wishery. thing. Yep. Uh, da, da, da. This one actually made me quite laugh, um, as bad as it is, but I also have no remorse, uh, no feelings, as people are aware of. Yeah. So this one is uh, hashtag number one cunny funt is the name of the YouTube name of the uh, YouTube profile. Uh, I already because kn- uh, I already knew that it's Islamic State were responsible and the passport survived the blast. It's <laughs> it's an it's a nine eleven joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that, I went and read a few of those those ones, and it's quite funny because people took it as literal, even yeah, though yeah. even though his name is number one, kind of funny. Yeah, like clearly not serious, yo. <laughs> but we come to the best one, which is uh, which third on the list, and this yeah. is, I will name and shame this evil human being. Yeah, uh, Christopher Bradshaw. Mm-hmm. His name on YouTube is Christopher Bradshaw. Mm-hmm. Quite a generic name. Mm-hmm. But... Well, if you search Christopher Bradshaw, you'll find you'll see his username somewhere. I imagine. So he says, "This is this is quote." Shut the gates to the country. How many more of this shrikst? He tried to censor the word shit by putting an X in it. Yeah. I believe he's trying to say the word shit. Uh, how many more of this shit we have to live with? This is what we. This is what the do gooders want. That's separate words. D O space G W O D E R S. Yeah. Uh, want and uh, governments. That's it. That's what the do gooders want and governments. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. Full stop and. Not capitalised. Right. For those comments about bad mouthing Muslims, full stop. Have I mentioned anything about Muslims? Capitals. So internet shout. Yeah. Um, no, but you have. You've implied. Yeah. And it's you've a, essentially said it's. And, and we, as we all know, it's all about the implication. Yeah, it is all about the implication. Again, I'm trying to bring a little bit of levity to this awful situation. So obviously, I expanded the comments. Yeah. Just to see what kind of people would uh, reply back to this. Yeah. 
so he was replied by uh, Goddess Williams. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christopher Bradshaw, why are you saying that when a lot of these psychos are already born in the country, shutting gates does nothing? Fair point. Yeah, very true point, yeah. Uh, Christopher Bradshaw, brilliant comment. Wish people would take notice. So that's the original comment of right, that's the do gooders and the government. Brilliant yeah. comment. And that is from Big Nasty. Mm. Anyway. Uh, and then Christopher Bradshaw Rose goes, I'm not arguing, it's my opinion. From what I from what I read, from what I read, no one was saying that he's arguing anything anyway. No. So the two comments above this were: Chris Bradshaw, why are you saying uh, that when lots of these psychos are born? He's like, there's not. That's not opinion based. That wasn't that that wasn't that wasn't saying anything about an argument. It was, yeah. He's saying, I'm not arguing. It's my opinion. If you don't like it, piss off. Oh yes, don't forget taxi drivers grooming too. T W O. Full stop. And what? Race is doing that. D O I N. Yes. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Not sure I, I understand the question. I, I don't know. I don't understand the sentence. I'm not <laughs> going to even say it's a question. I'm just, well, at the start, it's not a question because there's no question mark no. at the end of it. It's a statement. Yeah. Um, uh, and then to reply is T Rod, Goddess Williams, it stops more flooding into the country. The ones born here descend from there. So, yes, it will do something. Because we all know all the people of foreign foreign national descendants all become radicalised and all commit across yeah, the... it's only it's only people that were born from from immigrant parentage mm-hmm. that do bad things in our country yes um, there's no one in this country that we can trace back you know thousands of years that may have done anything uh, uh, ever Goddess Williams comes back to speak to T-Rod uh, who was the ones about flooding into the country mm. uh, she's a, a I assume it's a she it's Goddess Williams I, but I, I will call it them. Uh, they say, fair enough, but you're not going to get any of that from Conservatives. Your best bet are UKIP. <laughs> mm. Hang on, Goddess. Don't don't go swinging people to vote for them. That's not a good idea. Uh, Christopher Bradshaw replies to say yes about T-Rod, which was the whole um, all descendants and foreign nationals yep, become yep. radicalised. Yep. Uh, Christopher Bradshaw, you're absolutely right. This is from Star Plus Episodes. You're absolutely right. They should shut the gate to the country and stop all these bad people from attacking little children. Mm-hmm. Did you... Did, did these people read any of the... I didn't have to read. It was a video. Well, like, <laughs> did, the, did the video point out that... This was, I will say, this was before we knew the identity of the bomber. Right, okay. This, this so was this before, was just knee-jerk stereotype and This was reactions. a video that was posted. The, the Christopher Bradshaw's uh, comment was posted seven hours ago when I looked at this at about 10 to 8 this evening. Yeah. So it was posted around midday. Yeah. And as far as I'm aware, the identity of the bomber wasn't um, disclosed until about 6, maybe 7 o'clock this afternoon. Right. So they're just assuming he's Muslim at this point. Yeah, just knee-jerk. Or, well, they're assuming he's a foreign national, I should yes. say. Yeah, yeah. Because um, to their credit, they haven't said anything about Muslims. No. They're just saying about foreigners at this point. They just yeah, that's that's so much better. Yeah. So yes, and then Brad Wars goes apart from if uh, apart from if he was English, country slash immigrants aren't evil uh, people as a whole. Hmm? So Brad Wars goes apart from if he was English. Dot dot dot. Countries slash immigrants aren't evil people that's as true. a whole are. I don't understand the last bit. Anyway. No, I think what he's trying to say is that it's people that leave or not. Yeah, people are bastards. Which not, is true. Yeah, people are bastards individually, not groups or ethnicities or. Exactly. Yes, it's all down to the individual person. And then you've got Simon Psyduck, P S Y M O N, and then Psyduck is in the Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Brad Wells, the religion that the countries and immigrants follow is evil. No. No, that's just not true. No, uh, <laughs> religion itself is not. That's just evil in any way. Inherently wrong. There was an attempt at making a, a, a comment to uh, to rebuttal this, um, and as with any form of comments, it was shut down very quickly. Yeah. Uh, I I just have to point out that it is probably the worst read thing I've the worst written thing I've ever put. It starts with except e x c e p t no e x s e p t sorry. Yeah. By treating all of them like terrorists, you're giving them more reason to become terrorists. Just like how treating all black people as criminals made more black people criminals. Surprisingly, treating entire groups like shit doesn't fix the problem. (laughs) Brackets never does dropping bombs on innocent people. That's always forgotten by countries like Britain and America when they decide to do the same back. 
brackets cotton, full stop. Also, uncapitalized, most terrorists are born in this country, so the only way to stop it is, and I forgot to read more. <laughs> I, did, yes. I, I did read more, I just didn't take a photo of it. That's, uh, that is a fair point. Yeah, if, and then, you, if you treat people like dirt, they'll, yeah, you they'll, just give they them, won't like it. Yeah, at the end, it's self radical it's perpet- yeah. um, perpetually escalating violence. Like, the an eye for an eye leads the world, leads the world blind. Yeah, exactly. it so does, yeah. Uh, and then, this one was quite a good one. This is from uh, Kalin Sminovsky. Sim, Sim, Simovsky. S-I-M-O-V-S-K-I. Sure. Uh, Christopher Bradshaw, original comment writer. Uh, first, can't shut the gates. It's impossible. There isn't a magical imagination land. Uh, second, do you even know how easy it is to radicalise British idiots? Brackets, hint, it's pretty damn easy. <laughs> Third, how is it such a cowardly move that, that along with terrorists, also affects way more uh, innocent immigrants and refugees, which, yes, excluding everyone would? Yep. Uh, how is that supposed to help? Uh, hell, it was. It will just show them what your nation stands for, being cowards. Basically, it's just his, his thing is, when you, it's not like you screen them and go, yes, this person's a terrorist. He can, yeah. The terrorism in I mean, itself is naturally them. sneaky. Yeah. Yeah. You can ask them. Well, the Americans do. They've got they the green card. Have you ever Were been... you ever part of the Nazis regime of Germany? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Shit, have you ever been uh, a terrorist? Oh. Yes. yes. Yes, I have. Are you a member of a terrorist organisation in a non-violent capacity? So, yeah, I just, I'm part of the Axis of Evil. I just, I do, just do admin. admin. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of filing, really. Yeah. <laughs> that is a Bill Bailey quote. Right there, that's part troll. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Good old Bill. All right, so we shall carry on down there. Uh, so we've got Adam Weller no because it's not all Muslims that are crazy radicals only the small percentage of the Muslim population yes but I wouldn't say that at this point we don't know he's Muslim this yeah. again was still five hours ago so and I think it's probably just best to say a small percentage of the population uh, yeah, a small percentage of people yeah because oh, insane pretty sure things like Columbine were shot by white Christians yeah um, yeah, white Christians have done a whole mess of bad things. Oh yeah, if you uh, there was the whole thing of if you look at all the terrorist attacks that have happened in America, very few, very few, if any of them, were actually done by Muslims. There are a lot yeah. of them done by white Christian teens and early twenties. Yep. Uh, then we go Fiona Gregory. Not all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims, is what they say. Gonna have to disagree there with Fiona. I was gonna say what who vis a vis the Columbine shooting. What for a start. idiots say is that what it is? Yeah. And there's also the guy from Finland. He was white and I believe Christian. Yeah. Who shot up an entire island full of children it's on just, a holiday camp. Yeah. There's there's just literally no basis for that kind of totalitarian no. statement. All terrorists are terrorists. Is basically yeah, how yes, that sentence should yeah. read. Or all terrorists are cunts. All terrorists are dickheads. Yeah. yeah there we go. Uh, Fiona Grovey. What they brackets? So, uh, oh, sorry, inverted commas. Uh, say who is they? Apart from you, I haven't seen anybody write that here. Also, it is not correct. There are plenty of terrorists who are not Muslims. Terrorism is disgusting. Unfortunately, the problem is too complex to be solved. That is solved. I just fucked up saying that. To be solved with supposedly simple catchphrases like close the gates. I think it's probably too complex to be solved on a YouTube comment section. Oh, yeah. As, no, well. as we all know, the world's problems can be solved by YouTube commenters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Phil Dobson uh, speaks to Erelect, who is the one who said about the, 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 the they, who are the they, they, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he goes, do you even have to ask who they are? Young girls have been horrifically killed by a man who blew up nuts and bolts through his intestines. Understand? Uh, well, yeah, I understand the literally blew nu- what happened. Man who blew nuts and bolts through... I believe the nuts and bolts are in a backpack. I don't think they're in his intestines. Yeah, don't that's think, a bit I, misleading. I but... don't think Phil Dobson quite understands how suicide bombing works. No. You don't swallow C4 and detonate it. Generally, well, have I it mean, a back... I mean, be... you could do. A C4 suppository. Be a C suppository, as it were. Hey. Hmm. You can have that one. It's free. Thanks. Oh, cheers. Yeah. I can't imagine a time when I use it, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got Seth also speaking back to Fiona, who is the terrorists are all Muslim. Uh, mm-hmm. great terrorists are not Muslims they mostly kill other Muslims and blow up mosques but it's never reported can't really answer on that one Seth I don't know yeah. mm. uh, this is quite a good one I didn't actually read this one uh, this is by Red Mars 1 Christopher Bradshaw dirty evil corrupt fuck pig Zionist Jew set all the false flags and hoax state run terror uh, productions up for their agenda in the Middle East and 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 to blame Muslims so they can divide and conquer us using the tactics problem reaction solution. Okay. What? Uh, Has he just strung <laughs> some random words together? They, the the Jew Zionists, are deliberately creating this problem. Uh, basically, we've got a white supremacist who just snuck in here. Oh, it's just like, um, oh. 
the the Jew Zionists are deliberately creating this problem, and it's all for the expansion of the greater of greater Israel, the New World Order, what? also known as the Jew World Order, which way they will run from freed more. Yes, it's all. This is all planned by oh the Jews. Oh my Christ! You might have to stop reading these very soon before I commit suicide. <laughs> Uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and then we've got this was just something. This is further on in the the comment section. It's not linked to Bradshaw mm. uh, in any way. Uh, this was by Rasden Big Mac. Mm. Mm. Mm, Big Mac. Yes. Um, blah blah blah. He goes on. Uh, it's halfway through a conversation. It's basically saying that um, escalation, some violence, or something. But there's one bit in here that made me. Uh, take a picture of it but I can't remember what it was uh, da, da, da. right so he's basically saying he's, saying he's not justifying the, the acts I'm understating the reasons to why there are two different uh, two different things ISIS was given weapons and funding by the US Bin Laden American CIA I imagine uh, America lied about Iraq they destroyed Libya because it refused to sell oil using the American dollars blah blah blah, blah. Um, for some reason this guy called Brit- British Sue British Sue Eccles uh, just basically mentions to oh yes the original owner of the comment sorry this is a complete ham about first away of doing this uh, so a person called Pixie Fixie um, mentions so he goes uh, okay again you are justifying terrorism this was to Raz mm. um, if I went and asked uh, a Muslim on the street in my local town do the actions of Syria der- terrify- yeah, justify terrorism do you think they would say yes? Also, is Japan a terrorism hotbed for the US? I mean, they killed 100,000 people with nukes. Um, you are getting on the defensive and accusing me of blaming Islam when I've made no mention of whatsoever of the comments. I didn't read the entire thing because this is about 30 comments down in a, in a chain. Yeah. So I didn't read the entire thing. But this is just the one bit because this was two com- like the last two comments. You know, It shows you like the last few comments mm-hmm. of, the, of the thing when you're scrolling through it. This was done by uh, British Sue Eccles. He goes, uh, so that's war, referring to the, the nuke on it. Mm-hmm. It just was. If they didn't nuke two cities, uh, it didn't nuke the two cities. Japan would ha- wouldn't have surrendered, or wouldn't have surrender, meaning a land invasion would uh, have uh, be would been would have been needed, have been needed. I believe he means. Uh, thousands or millions would have died to invade Japan. Uh, so even the nuclear bombs is devastating. It was. It was how to save the lives of many as the war would have carried on for much longer without it. And then to Raz's thing, he goes, uh, so you're saying that killing 100,000 plus people uh, needed to die uh, because it meant to save a few thousand, not a million soldiers. Um, all right, you got some backward history lessons, which is fair enough. Yeah. Dropping two bombs on... Effectively, it would, that was... It, now that is a war crime, is basically yeah. is what happened. They They nuked... Two cities killing yeah. hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians. Yeah. So they didn't have to have a war where they would fight other soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a probe. Yeah. Yeah. All because they flew some planes into some fucking ships. Yeah, and they made a terrible movie about it. Yeah. But it did have um, an actor in it whose name I've just completely forgotten. Anyway, never mind. That guy, cool. Yeah. I want to say Christian Bell, but he's not. He's the one in where he's in the intern camp, eating weevils. I forget what that was called. Mm, weevils. Uh, so the important thing is, an absolute cunt did a really cunty thing today. Yeah, and YouTube, um, <laughs> and for the love of God, read YouTube comments, because they're yeah. fantastic. Um, he's not... No one knows racism like the YouTube comments do. His religion has naff all to do with it, because no. at best, if there's any religious connotations, it's a flimsy excuse for him to hang his insanity on yeah it's a it's just a justification for a shitty deed by not done by a shitty person for a shitty justification yeah however i also feel bad for ariana grande yeah if it were me and people got attacked at a gig if i were ever to perform something i'd feel really fucking bad yeah um which the only thing that comes out of this that is the really awesome videos that i've seen is is all the great things that people have done around it so yeah. to people of manchester fucking well done for manning up there was someone i saw a video of a family from wigan went to manchester day just to give out water and sandwiches to yeah people. there were doctors who had already worked their shifts saying if offering you need... like from nearby cities just yeah. going like we'll if you come need over people. and help yeah if you need people let us know free food was given out by restaurants yeah for the police uh, and free stuff ta- and taxi drive uh, rides to Wherever. wherever you go, some woman, free hotel rooms for the some woman hotels. like got fifty kids 
to yeah, safety she led and out. kept them there until they could be picked up by it parents in, and whatnot. In the Premier Inn, I think it was, or Holiday Inn or something, just over the road. Yeah, yeah. They they let out a load of free rooms and everything. That was really yeah, cool. yeah. Well done. I, there was um, a whole group of homeless people went up and helped yes, as well. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like, this is... This is what you want the world to be like, just normally on yeah, everyday it's just a basis. Giant, it's like, yeah, you want to you, you, you attack us with a bomb? Fuck you, we don't give a like, Yeah, like we don't we, care we, about your bomb. We're just going to make sure everyone's all right. Like, we get, not that we don't give a fuck, but like, you can bomb us if you want. Yeah, like it won't break us. That's yeah. the important yeah, thing. Yeah, basically. I'm really struggling to so, get in this. So, well done to all those people. Yeah, awesome. I, I hope everyone, who, anyone who may listen to this hasn't had anyone who's affected by it. Yeah, same. Um, obviously, condolences go to all the families and everything as well. Yeah, but uh, I just just the escalation of hate that comes from it from it, from, it from within inside I've the same country. Of, I've seen a lot of memes because that's how people communicate their rage these days. Yeah, because we're which slowly is, going back into hieroglyphics. Which is it's the whole uh, lock the gates to stop this happening. Yeah, well, like, it was the guy was fucking born here. Yeah, the guy was the born fuck here. Is your problem? Not everything is immigrants, you dozy bitches. Yeah, I re. In the best of ways, I really wanted it to be a white guy who was from like London, from upper middle class. Yeah, that'd be just amazing. to fuck those people off. Yeah. Oh, he was just like me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was. It was a builder. Yeah. Uh, from. Anyway, on a place. lighter note, we're now going to play a game. We go back to quiz time. Yeah. So, uh, trying to figure out how these cards work. So each card here. So I've just opened it. You may have heard the rustling. Um, we are playing the quiz, which has been published by someone. Uh. Clissy, uh, I don't fucking know. I can't say it. Um, published by a company from Sweden. <laughs> well, I love Sweden. Uh, which is a quiz entitled I Should Have Known That. And the uh, blurb on the back states uh, Is starboard on the left or right side of the boat? How do you say Japan in Japanese? What is the character limit for tweets on Twitter? How long did Sleeping Beauty actually sleep? I Should Have Known That is an addictively entertaining trivia game with over 400 questions about things that you should know. In contrast to traditional trivia formats, you don't receive points by answering questions correctly. Instead, points are subtracted for every incorrect answer. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, I haven't gone into the rules of it because I literally just opened the box now. So we can just do a normal card. Because normal... there's four questions per card. Okay. And we'll do the normal five cards to win. Or sure. We'll All see right. how long it goes for. We'll stick to our normal rules. Uh, it goes on to say, be prepared to see how much you know about Google and Wikipedia at your fingertips. Uh, without Google and Wikipedia at your fingertips. This fast-paced, hilarious game guarantees non-stop brain freezes, laughs, embarrassing answers. One thing for sure, it will only be a matter of time before you hear yourself saying, don't, I should have known that. Perfect for your next party or dinner with friends and family or the next podcast you're recording. Yes. Yeah. So just hand these cards to Jake. Thank you very much. I have received the cards. Oh, sure, get, I'm going to give my ones a quick shuffle. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. So it, the, there's four questions on the front. Yep. And the, and answers, the answers are on the, are on the reverse. And we first to get five. So what are we going to say? You need to get... We'll go for five and we'll see how long five... If, if five's done real fucking quick. And do you have to get all the answers on a card uh, we'll correct? Go with, we'll go with the majority ruling. So because there's four questions, three... So three out of four. Three out of four. Wins you the card. Yeah, there's no, no super win in this one. No. Because... I mean, we apparently we should we should know these. Four so. out of four for brag, right? Yeah, yeah? Four, four out of four for honours. For for swagging the brag. Yes, I believe. That's how the kids say it nowadays. I wouldn't even begin to know. No, it's because you're an OAP. Basically, yeah. yes. It's nice to go back to levity after all that. Even. It is, isn't it? That's... Yeah. You, did you start last time? Or I, oh, I can't last remember. Time? You can start this time. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Question the first. On card the first. What movement of youth organisations was founded by Robert Baden Powell? Oh, that is uh, Bernardo's. Oh, wait, no, it's the SPCC. Fuck. No. No, it is Bernardo's. No, it's neither. What? It's Robert the ben- Scout movement. Oh, Rob- oh f- fuck. What was I thinking of? Go on, say it. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I should have. I, did- I do know that. <laughs> That's me okay. jump. That's, that's me fine. not. That's fine. that is the classic. Don't listen to the question. Like, yeah. I was thinking of a charity for some reason. What kind of animal is a gecko? Well, I mean, the first answer to my head wants to be a lizard, but I will accept lizard. Okay. So it's it? lizard or reptile. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So that's fine. You didn't want us to be too. Expensive. Too. Yeah. Uh, what is the Amsterdam district of De Wallen more commonly known as? Is it the red light district? It is. Okay, so this one for the card. Yep. Who did the former tennis player Andre Agassi marry in 2001? 
I don't know. The only... F- I didn't know this, to be fair. Um, oh, I don't know. Drama. Andre Agassi. Mm, 2001. Um, 2001. Married. F- fuck, I can't even remember. Somebody. Uh, Give you a clue, it's a woman. Uh, fucking spoilers. Um, <laughs> oh, I, got, I don't know. Steffi Graf. I have no idea that. <laughs> Another tennis player. I, I, my yeah. brain, my the, the only female tennis player I know are the, the Williams sisters yep. and Maria Sharapova. And I know it's yep. not any of those three. Right, so you're <laughs> stuffed, really. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, and um, Sue, what's her face? Barker. Yeah, that one. Right. So, okay. first question for Jay. Does zero stand for latitude or longitude on the equator? On the equator? I'm not a fucking compass. <laughs> How the fuck am I going to know that? I'm not Bear Grylls. I d- well, I don't think you need a compass. You, well, you'd be better 50, off with 50. an atlas. So, let's yeah. go latitude. Uh, latitude is. Yeah! Blind guessing. What three colours are on the Irish flag? Uh, white, orange and green. It is green, white and orange, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You were struggling with orange or red then, weren't you? No, I actually couldn't remember if green was actually on there or I just assumed it was because (laughs) Ireland. Uh, Tony Hawk is one of the world's famous prominent practitioners of what activity? Skateboarding. (laughs) Yes. Is this like my card? (laughs) Apparently. For Jay. Because they know I need the help. What does an albino lack? Uh, He he lacks the pigmentation that makes... I'll give you that. It says melanin brackets pigment. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. So <laughs> I wasn't sure how technical they wanted me to be then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's, I, I'll give you a pigment because yes, that's yeah. what melanin is. Uh, yeah, so you got the card. So I'm did I get a four card. out of four? Did I get swag? Uh, you did swag. Swag. Yeah. Honor. But it, that was like the easiest of questions. That was insanely easy. Yeah, there was, there was no whoever she was. <laughs> no, none of that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I shouldn't have known that because I don't care. No, I didn't have a clue. Right. I mean, I had the advantage. I knew who both of them were. I know Andre Agassi. Uh, right. Uh, you can't be serious. What but... is the name of Super Mario's brother in the video game Super Mario Bros? Luigi. I don't even know why I turned the card over. No. Yes. It's already... the same yes. reason I turned the card over for Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> just in case there was just, something else. Just for that... tension. Just to yeah. build some, some tension. Mario? What? No. Yeah. The fuck? Uh, what profession did Luciano Pavarotti have? Uh, he was an opera singer. Yes, he was. What is the name of the Italian fashion designer who was shot dead outside his home in Miami in 1997? Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> I remember it happening. Uh, Italian, you say? Yes. Um, Gucci? No, it was uh, Giovanni Versace. Oh, Versace. I know but you could still get the card. Yeah. In which continent is Iran? Uh, oh. Continent? That would be... Constant to be Asia. Yes. Yeah. It's one of those ones like, oh, fuck, is that is wrong? It, uh, like, yeah, I, I could see on yeah, your face like, that you weren't confident. I know. It's answer. like, does that does that fall as Asia? That bit. I was Let's always go with Asia because technically Russia's on like because it's like where do you draw the line between Europe, yeah, the continent, and Europe, and yeah. yeah. Uh, right. So move. <laughs> as long as she keeps looking at the microphone, then it's fine. Well, I'm going to try and move the microphone. Apologies for any noise. Oh God, like yes. that, for example. Uh, you uh, went through that reasonably right? okay, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so, who was the Soviet Union's final president? I oh, I knew this one. Don't really know. I'll go with the only Russian name I can think of at the moment. Was it Gorbachev? It was Gorbachev. Yeah, there yes. we go. The man with the birthmark on his forehead. Yeah. Uh, how many bones are in the human body? Oh. <laughs> uh... Probably not as many as I think, but more than I want to say. Probably. I used to know this because I, when I was young and gothy, I used to like to go around and freak people out by telling them I knew how to break each one. <laughs> um, oh, that's, that's, so, that's in a TV show. Yeah. Uh, as of it's... recently, it's like, there are, I'm not going to tell you that there are X amount of bones in the human body. That's one. Yeah, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, 148. Uh, 206. Damn, that's yes. close. Again, can't remember how many, but more than you think. Yeah. Uh, what is the process used by plants to convert energy from sunlight and store it in chemical bonds? Oh no, it's photosynthesis. That's the one. I the minute you said what is the process, process. my brain went osmosis. <laughs> and it, I knew what that was. You said, I, was going, I knew that was going to be it. It's osmosis. No, it's not. I knew that's what you were going to be thinking of. <laughs> uh, what sport is dedicated to the logo on the fashion brand Ralph Lauren? 
Uh, polo. It is Horsey indeed. Polo. Uh, and that's another swag card. No, it's not. Oh, I got it? one of them wrong. Got the bones oh, your bones. Wrong. Yes, never mind. You still won the card, though. So it's still two to one. Still card. Yes. <clears throat> oh, are you ready for this first one? Yep. I'm, ready, I'm gonna, ready to get this one wrong. This is going <laughs> to test you. Is it? What symbol mm-hmm. does Batman have on his chest? I'm going to go with a bat. It, I'm going to check. Bear yeah. with me a second. Bear with. It's a bat. Well Fuck. done. <sighs> I think it's, to be specific, I believe it's a cricket bat rather than a baseball bat, but yeah. but it is a bat. I believe it's a tweet-tweet bat, actually. A tweet-tweet bat. Yeah. Uh, where in the human body mm-hmm. is urine created? Uh, and this does depend on whether or not you're talking about a normal human or reading the YouTube comments. Yes. Oh, God. Created. Created. Urine. <sighs> body. Human. Where? I don't want to give you my final answer yet because I am currently taught. Is it? I can't remember if it's created in the liver and stored in the bladder or just created in the bladder. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, liver filters toxins up. I'm going to go with liver. Liver is yeah. the kidneys. <laughs> no mind. <laughs> so one of those other organs yeah. that you didn't think about. Yeah. Oh yeah, dialysis. Yeah. No mind. Uh, how many fingers does Mickey Mouse have on each hand? Uh, three fingers. It's four. I mean, he's got three fingers and a thumb. No, it says four. I've Maybe heard. it's not a thumb. Like, you're wearing it, gloves, you it's don't po- know. Whatever it is, it's opposable. <laughs> you're opposable. Well, is it? That's, um... Who is the lead singer of the group Coldplay? I don't know. Uh, Adam Levitt? No, that's... Um, I'm thinking of someone else. Cold, the, the a Coldplay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't think of his name. It's um, Chris Martin. You couldn't have won the card anyway. Couldn't I was just no. torturing you. I was thinking of Adam Levine from... Um, Maroon 5? That's it, yeah. yeah. Fuck, I'm doing shit in this one. I may uh, see. You should have known all of these things. I I shouldn't have known about that cricket player, and I don't don't care about Chris, whatever his face is from Coldplay. No, no. And I should have. Well, I don't care about the kidneys. (laughs) Screw the kidneys. You got two of them. It's redundant. Inbuilt redundancy. Uh, Name two of the four of the four U.S. presidents who have been assassinated while in office. Name two of the four Four, presidents who have been assassinated uh, while in office. Yes. And it's a really easy one. Uh, Lincoln. Yes. Yeah. The other two are James Garfield and nope. William McKinley. Nope. nope. <laughs> Don't do either that's of them. <laughs> that's what I think that's why I said two. Yep. Um, oh, for fuck. What was a sc- Excalibur in the Legend of King Arthur? It's a sword. It's a sword. Uh, it was his sword. Sword. Doesn't Big uh, sword. His sword. <laughs> I believe it's his pork sword. <laughs> no, I don't hey, think it was a pork. Hey, sword. Marion, get hold of Excalibur. Uh, what are Windsor? And four in hand examples of. Pardon? <laughs> what are Windsor and four in hand examples of? Are they not like ties? They are. Yeah. Yes. I knew the one I knew the Windsor not. Yeah, know, that's I kind didn't of know where I got hand. it from. Yeah. <laughs> um what do you call a word or phrase that uh reproduces the letters in another word or phrase in another order? I'll say those words again. <laughs> what do you call a word or phrase that reproduces the letters of another word or phrase? In another order. Oh, uh, an anagram. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a swag card. Boom. Then, uh, swag we're getting it. some real fucking easy cards in this one. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of am. You split the deck very badly. I did. I did. How old was Jesus when he died? Oh, fuck. 32. Oh, 33. Oh, fuck it. So close. I'm tempted to give you that one. I'm also, I also want to contest the Mickey Mouse because he has three fingers and a fucking thumb. I tell you what, should we give you the Jesus one? Yeah. As a, an apology. Because that Mickey Mouse one is a pile of shite. <laughs> I've, 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 a, I've worn the fucking glove. I know he has. I nearly did a Mickey Mouse impression there. Did you? But yeah, I, I held off. I didn't do <laughs> it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I was coming home, just a brief interlude. I was coming home from a party a little while ago with some friends, uh, driving in the car, listening to music, as you do. Mm-hmm. And we started singing along mm-hmm. because we'd had a good night. And for some reason, I started singing along as Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Which was very exciting. My favourite Mickey Mouse voice is the one from South Park. The Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic episode. Anyway, back to the quiz. <laughs> Sorry, yes. So we're going to give you Jesus. I don't want Do you. <laughs> no, you're getting him. Uh, That's it, you're getting him. Um, Blood of Jesus. In what century did Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart live? In what century? A century? Oh, fuck. Uh, 19th century? No, it was the 18th. Fuck. 1756 uh, to 1791. I thought it was, I thought it was 18 something. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. fair. I wouldn't 
really know. Again, um, but you get fucking Excalibur and Oh, you get Excalibur. Yeah. You've got and Batman symbol, come yeah, you got, on. Yeah, but you've got Tony Hawk. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Uh, in what state is the city of Boston? Massachusetts. Yep, well yeah. done. It is the second most frequently used airport in the world and Chicago's largest international airport. What is it called? Oh, I thought Do you want that again? Fucking no. It's the second most frequently used airport in the world yeah. and Chicago's largest international airport. What is it called? Chicago's largest international I've actually heard of it, but I would not have known it was those things. <sighs> I haven't got a clue. I can I can only think of like LAX and JFK, but I know yeah. they're not in Chicago. Neither of those. No. It's O'Hare International Airport. Oh which, yeah, yep, heard I, do, of, I do know O'Hare, but wouldn't yeah. have matched up. No, you would have lost. Have you looked at the what yeah. you lose? That was worth eight points. This is, a, which oh, suggests to me that you should really know should it. have known. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've only flown to America once, so I can't say I've ever been through O'Hare. So I'm afraid, honest. even giving you the Jesus, Jesus even you even with Jesus even on my with side, Jesus on your side, you didn't yeah. get that. Just fuck you, Jesus. Uh, right, what? Oh, for fuck's sake! What is a full house in poker? I actually probably won't know this because I don't play poker. So I'm just going to take a kind of a stab. Mm-hmm. Um, no, because that's mm-hmm. like a flush and a royal <laughs> flush. And what, some what other it, flush related things. Other what is a full house in poker? People are scre- anyone. If anyone listens to this, now, they're probably screaming. Yeah, probably because. Yeah. They know I don't. I've yeah. I've literally never played poker, ever. Ever. Oh, ever. We should play. I want to take your money. Yeah, we should. It would be very easy for you. <laughs> um, but maybe just let me know some of the rules. Mm. I'm, I feel I'm about to learn what a full house yeah, is. Yeah. Um, is it when you've got all of the face cards? No. It is when you have three of one card and a pair. So why all is of that? Your, because why you have, is that a full house? Because there are five cards in a game of poker. But why would it because not you be can't, like... Because you can't have... If you have five cards, you can't have all of the same kind. So the no, obviously. Yeah. But you could have like... Uh, I suppose you could only have Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Yeah, but I mean, if that... Yeah, That's Jack, where you get the flushes. Is that right? Uh, where you Jack, go from like... A flush is all the same colour. Right. A straight is five cards in a continuous straight. Ah, so straight that would, is in an order. So however, if I had the, like the ten or something, yeah. that would be a straight. However, if you have the um, straight of the same suit... Mm-hmm. And it is ten Jack Queen King Ace. That is a royal flush. So right. that's where you're getting the two. I see. Because and that's the super winning. Because they're they're I'm all awesome they're all in the same out. suit. So it's a flush and it's yeah. royal. You don't have. Because there's no royal the... straight. A straight just goes on the higher card. Yeah. But the fact that it is all of the same color, i.e., a fl- all of the same suit rather, um, is a flush. And the fact it goes from ten to Ace makes it a royal flush. I got you. Which is the second highest uh, hand in the game. Well. Technically, the highest score in hand in poker, providing no one else has four aces, because obviously you can't have the royal flush. If, no, so yeah. that's the, four aces is the only thing that supersedes a royal flush. Again, but, or providing no one has four of a kind of any of the picture cards, because that would circumvent being able to get a royal flush with their only bit, unless someone's cheating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, royal flush. Note. Well, that's impossible. I've got four of a kind and they're kings. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh, well, fuck you very much. Uh-huh. Uh, anyway, moving that, on. That <laughs> Thank you for the poker lesson section of our quiz this is from some weird I, i'm starting to think of this is published in this is an american game published by a, a swedish company because uh, the next question is a question that's based in fahrenheit and is asking what the celsius oh, equivalent of it is god no no it's asking you the celsius it's a real fucking easy question or is it the freezing point of water is 32 degrees fahrenheit what does this correspond to in celsius Zero? Yes. <laughs> uh, that is zero. De- oh, sorry, no, it's zero degrees Celsius, Jay. Uh, <laughs> there was a moment where I didn't want to say that yeah. in case it was wrong. And I get asked who fucking married Andre Agassi, and you get fucking what's the freezing point of water? Yeah, <laughs> but they they asked it in a unnecessarily really stu- confusing That's why I mean, way. this is a, I think this is an American game. Yeah, uh, you're right. Who was the first Soviet leader, Lenin or Stalin? Oh Christ! Um, it's really easy. Is it? Yeah. You're asking me to remember things. Well, I'm, I'm asking you for a 50 <laughs> 50. Well, basically, yeah. what I'm asking. Um, I think... If I'd have stopped at who was the first, leader, who the first Soviet leader, yes. Yeah, that's tricky. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, th- I think it was Lenin first. It is Lenin. Yeah. Because he is in a glass. It was. In the, I don't know if he still is. A glass box in the Kremlin. Because Stalin was all like all about Lenin. 
and yeah, yes, that he's the, he's yes, the father yes. of communism, is Lenin. Yeah. Uh, what popular drink is made of vodka, tomato juice, and spices, and often garnished with a celery stick? I know this one. Don't say anything. It's not because I'm an alcoholic. Maybe. Um, it, again, not a big drinker, or not a diverse drinker, <laughs> but I feel that's a Bloody Mary. It is a Bloody Mary. There we go. I didn't know the right. ingredients, I just pictured what they looked like in a glass, and then thought about cocktail. Yep. The Tom um, Cruise movie. Bloody Mary, it's a fucking awful. Probably. It sounds it. it yeah. None of those ingredients sound like they should go together. For so, a start, don't put celery in anything. No. Well, it goes, no. It goes nice and spaghetti. No, it, goes, it doesn't. It does. No. It does. Celery is bollocks. Celery can fuck off. Celery is a superfood. Bollocks. It, it takes it. more energy to di- digest than it does. Than it that doesn't you. make it a superfood. That makes it a pointless food. It is a pointless food. Um, you have four cards. I currently have what? One. Two? One. That's a, yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sake. But you could have an amazing comeback here. Yeah. This is where a point I go. Now we've got ten cards. This is really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Good chance to catch up. Right. Apparently you're more worldly than I am. Well, I am older. Yeah. Are there wild polar bears in Sweden? I right, first is a trick question, um, and I'm also now thinking this is a Swedish game. Uh, <laughs> are there wild? Po- is this a trick question? Uh, wild polar bears. Well, you got a fifty-fifty. Yeah. No. So- no is the correct answer. No, there are not. I, I, I feel that is a question that like I do. <laughs> is, is trying to catch you up. Ahem. What artist is associated with the alter ego Ziggy Stardust? Oh, that was David Bowie. R.I.P. Yeah. So that's one. Two. Two. In fact. Yeah. Uh, who was the leader of North Korea who died in 2011? Uh, Kim Jong-il. Yes. Three. So you... Oh, sorry. Kim jong dead. who was ill for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, g- comedy. Comedy. <laughs> See... That's joke number two of the evening. Though. We're suggesting that he died from being ill. Yeah, because it's his surname was or ill. His, his middle name technically, no, his first name. Jokes it... are funnier when you explain them. Yes, they are. Uh, They're all the best jokes. So this is just for bragging rights. Now you've got this card. You're back on your rebound. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the name of the goddess of love in Greek mythology? Oh, fuck! I always get it's Aphrodite, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. I always get that confused. You may brag. With I always get that confused with Athena. Athena was something else, wasn't she? She was uh, uh, no, she yeah, she's Zeus's wife as well, I believe, and the mother of yeah. Hercules. If I can Sounds remember. good. Crack on. <laughs> what is Greece called in Greek? Okay, yeah. Don't even give me that fucking look. <laughs> well, like it's either super obvious uh, or it's not. The the fact I I like quite a lot of Greek culture. I did know this one, uh, but I might but, not. No, if you if you don't. If you don't know that much. I do know a couple of words in Greek as well. Uh, well, I'm going to guess it's not Greece. It's not. But I don't know what it is. So It is Hellas. Ah, mm. cool. I think I've seen that on a decorative plate. <laughs> GPS technology helps us travel with travel directions. What does GPS stand for? Global Positioning Satellite. No. Oh, is it that is the It is the urban Global region? Positioning System. Oh, not you satellite. mother... So unfortunately, it's not. Are you are you uh, just are you sandbagging this just to make it more interesting? <laughs> no, I genuinely thought that's what it was. Who founded Facebook? Depends on your version. Of... <laughs> According to this card, <laughs> who founded Facebook? Uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. Again, according to this card, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jesse, what is um... the name of the film in which Al Pacino played Tony Montana? Uh, Scarface. This Scarface. So unfortunately, you do not get the card. Curses. But close, but no cigar. <sighs> close, but no pile of cocaine. No, yeah, and machine guns. What are Sea Biscuit, Black Beauty, and horses. Shadow Facts? Horses. Excellent. They are horses. Not to be confused with Soggy Biscuit, which is an awful game. Yeah. Um, sea Biscuit was a real horse, right? Uh, or was that fictional too? No, Sea Biscuit was in. Uh, obviously Black Beauty is fictional. Or Shadow sea Biscuit. Facts I think Sea Biscuit is the horse from the Horse Whisperer. No, there was a... Was a, a film called Seabiscuit? No, there was a film called Seabiscuit about a, a racehorse. I assumed it was a real racehorse, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The only real horse I know is Red Rum. Yes. That's the only real one I know. Uh, Mr. Red. Oh, yeah, Mr. Red. Yeah. Um, what is the triangular sail mm-hmm. that is used in heavy winds on sailboats called? Oh, fucking hell. What? Oh, <laughs> I knew that. I Well, I knew is the it a, Is it a jib sail? It's not. Uh, it's a spinnaker. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a word we've all heard, but yeah. I didn't know that specifically is what it was. The only reason I've heard of it is, oh, that makes sense about Brighton. No, I don't know why. Mm. No, not Brighton, Portsmouth, Pisspinnaker mm. Tower. Yeah, there that makes sense. Go. 
A CEO is the director of a company. Yeah. What does the acronym CEO stand for? Oh, f- uh, chief executive officer. Yes. yes. Who is the daughter of Paul McCartney and a world famous designer? Oh, fuck off. The daughter of Paul McCartney. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like the Beatles. The only good one was the Ringo Starr because he voiced Thomas the Tank Engine. Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney. I was, my brother was going Linda. But that's his ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, you don't get the card. I don't get the card. You just keep chucking shit at me like yeah. Paul McCartney's fucking daughter. No, Basically, fuck. you should stop asking you about famous people. Yeah, stop asking me about people. Start asking me about no things. I don't celebrity question. I don't give a fuck about people. That's uh, understandable. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. What do you drink if you drink Evian? Water. Confused. <laughs> Volcanic water, minimal, mineral, mineral water. I'll give you a, mineral water. Brackets. Evian is a French brand of mineral water, so it has to justify the question on the card. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what that is? If you lose that for that that particular one, one it has to, it feels it has to identify yeah, yeah. on the card. Seven points. Wow. If you don't know a French water that they had to specifically yeah, mention yeah. was a French water on the answer card. Christ. Uh, who is Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., better known as? Yeah, I know this one. Oh, shit. Once again, who is Cassius Marcellus Clay, not Marcellus Wallace, Marcellus Clay Jr., better known as? Oh, Christ. I can't think. No, I pass. No, no, it is Muhammad Ali. There we go. I knew it was a boxer, but I couldn't think who. Uh, he too, I do not believe, knows what Marcellus Wallace looks like. Um, there you go. Joke, no- joke number three of the evening. Boom! <laughs> you're just you're all about the jokes. I am. It's only taken me an hour and eight hour and seventeen minutes to make three jokes. There you go. Good work. What is it called when bowl? Uh, what's it called in bowling when all the pins are knocked down during the second attempt? A spare. It is a spare. Mm. What is the last name? Of the brothers Liam and Noel in band Oasis. Just before I win, get this wrong. Yeah, is this the winning question? Yes, on the winning card. Yes, Gallagher. Yes, yay! I know more shit about the world than Yao. Yes, you started as well, so I can't even go like, no, oh, you need to ask. Yeah, no, you 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 won whilst also asking second. So yeah, I just I just sucked. Yeah. But I got some shitty fucking cards. You did get some shitty cards, I'll give you that. But you also had Jesus on your side. We yeah. gave you Jesus. I don't want Jesus. He's no uh, fucking use. Apparently not. No. I suppose his knowledge is not going to be overly relevant, is it? Like, no. it's not up to date, really. Or is it? Because apparently he's everywhere. Well, God is, but Jesus isn't. Well, Jesus is God. But not, mm. crucially. Well, no, I got a mark on my RE exam for saying that Jesus was God. Because I had to explain the three states of the Holy Trinity. Oh. I mean, God is God. Jesus is God as well. And the Holy Spirit is the spirit impregnated Mary. He got a bit up himself and was reduced to like clerical duties, which is also a oh, Bill Bailey ripoff. Yeah. <laughs> the three states I am nothing... of the Holy Trinity are sober, pissed, and hungover. That's the, th- that's the three states of the weekend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> yeah. Right. We shall draw that there. There are a shit ton of cards. So, so we, we can will... always play that one again. Yeah. Uh, well, I, there's no way of separating them in here but I'll go for any oh well we'll just see what happens yep. we'll see if we get the same questions <laughs> we'll just shuffle them up and uh, if we see we'll, we'll soon realise if we go like we've had this card before yeah yeah, I think we'll know right well we shall call that there because that is time an hour and 18 minutes thanks so. uh, Florida Michigan Massachusetts and, and uh, uh, Harry and Harry yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think that covers everyone these well. again yeah. M- uh, Michigan and Massachusetts haven't watched the podcast so they're, they're only on that something else so. oh well screw you yeah. both of you places, places for only caring about cars so yeah this has been the non refundable podcast again uh, once again we do not apologise for the wasting your hour and however long this is of your life that's yeah your it's your fault. choice you can st- click yeah. stop at any point really. that's your own fault be, be a uh, fighter of free will yeah be assertive yeah uh, Jay also has things of which he does stuff for yes uh, bandtothebone.wordpress.com where I write amusing stories about the shit life of being in a shit band at the shit beginning of shit yep there's a lot of shit involved and I do other games about video games and other games about other videos about video games yep that one in the words so yeah that's on uh, still not got a URL for it yet but it's just search 177 entertainment in a uh, YouTube search thing and it comes up right thank you very much for listening and or watching to the logo on YouTube 
if that's the way you listen to it. Um, and we will see you next week, I imagine, for another one. No, if you're about. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Cheers. Bye.